and from the left hand side it will give only those rows which satisfy the condition or i can say that only matching rows it will give from the left hand side so that is nothing but your right outer joint okay so guys now let's understand this with the help of one graphic so let's say for example if you have one table called as a table 1 and if you have one table called as a table 2 and if i will apply or if i will join both the table using the right outer joint then what information i will get as you can see on the your screen this will be the output over here you can see from the right hand side all the information is coming but in the left hand side table it will give only those rows which are matching or which are satisfying the on condition or uh, join condition i can say that as you can see on the your screen highlighted area is nothing but your matching condition rows or matching rows information or i can say that those rows which are available in the my uh, right hand side table so that is nothing but your right outer join okay guys so guys now let's see the syntax of the right outer join so as you can see on the your screen this is the syntax of the right outer join okay over here i have written first select clause then i have written the from clause in the from clause i have written the table 1 and table 2 table 1 is nothing but your left side table and table 2 is nothing but your right hand side table okay so what will happen over here all the information will come from the table 2 and only matching rows come from the table 1 okay so that is nothing but your syntax now over here I have written on which is nothing but your join condition so what will happen from the table one only those rows will come which satisfy the this on condition as you can see on the your screen highlighted area that rows only will come okay so this is nothing but your syntax part so guys now let's understand right outer join with the help of one example so let's say for example if you have one table called as a table one and if you have another table called as a table two and if I will apply or if I will join both the table using the right outer join then what would be the output as you can see on the your screen this will be the output okay over here few things you can notice over here uh, I have uh, few columns from the left hand side table as you can see on the your screen highlighted area shows that this is left hand side table column okay and you can see also right hand side table column as well as you can see on the highlighted area okay over here you can see few values are null now um, you can say that how exactly this uh, values come or how exactly this uh, table got formed can you explain us little bit more so let's understand that too how exactly this table got formed and how exactly our right outer join works internally okay so guys as you can see on the your screen these are the tables i have one is left hand side table one is right hand side table and below that you can see there is one output table that is nothing but your empty table right now okay now as soon as i fire this query as you can see on the your screen then what will happen the cursor will start to pointing to the right hand side table and the first row of the right hand side table will be compared with the all the rows of the left hand side table so as you can see on the screen arrows are indicating the comparison and wherever it matches then what it will do it will form the one row so as you can see on the your screen the first row of the right hand side table is combined with the my left hand side table row because uh, department id is matching in both the table so it will get formed in other row uh, department id is not matching so it won't uh, form any uh, rows as you can see on the your screen okay now once all the comparison of the first row of the right hand side table finished with the 
left hand side table then the cursor will move to the next row of the right hand side table as you can see on the your screen now second row of the right hand side table will be compared with the all the rows of the left hand side table and wherever it matches the department id then it will form the uh, one row as you can see on the your screen okay now cursor will move to the next row of the right hand side table so as you can see on the your screen the cursor is got moved to the third row of the right hand side table and pointer is pointing to the third row okay now over here third row of the right hand side table will be compared with the all the rows of the left hand side table as you can see on the your screen the arrows are indicating that the comparison okay over here you can notice one thing the department id of the uh, my right hand side table is not matching with the my any of the left hand side department id or i can say that left hand side tables department id so what will happen over here the right hand side information will go over there in the output table but in the left hand side uh, column uh, null values will be there so as you can see on the your screen there are few null values and that values or that columns are nothing but your left hand side column and why it is null because department id of the right hand side is not matching with any of the row of the right hand side rows okay so that's the reason it is coming as null, null. and my definition also says that give all the information from the right hand side but give the only matching information from the left hand side so that's the reason it is giving the right hand side some values and uh, from the left hand side it will give the null null value so that is nothing but your right outer join so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the right outer join is and if still it is not clear then watch my practical session in that you will definitely understand okay so let's go for the practical session so guys let's see the practical part of the right outer join over here first we will see what all the tables which we are going to use in the right outer joint example so as you can see over here this is my first table which is nothing but your employer table and this is nothing but your second table and this is department table and this is the content of the department table and this is the content of the employer table over here you can notice one thing uh, department number 30 is not available in the department table you can see over here no uh, department 30 is available and department 40 is not available in this column or i can say that in department and uh, employee table department 40 is not available okay and one more thing i would like to tell over here you need to focus on the department underscore id column over here and over here also okay so now if i want to join both the table department table and the employee table using the right outer join and how i can join i can join like this as you can see on the your screen this is how i can join okay and these are the columns i have retrieved and you can see over here i have written e dot department underscore id means this is from the employee table why because this is the short form of the employee table and over here you can see this represents the employee table okay so that's the reason i can say that this is from the employee table and this is from the uh, department table because i have used over here d dot department id or d dot department name all these things okay now over here this is my from clause over here this is my uh, left hand side table and this is my right hand side table and over here i have written this syntax or keyword which indicates that this is right outer join okay over here i have written the one condition which says that boss uh, compare the department underscore id from both the table and give me those rows from both the table in which the department id is matching okay and along with that my right outer join what it says that give me all the rows from the my right hand side table which is nothing but your department table okay now let's run and let's understand the output so as you can see over here this is the output of the this query okay now let me recall my definition of the right outer join so what my right outer join says that give me common information or common departments 
or common rows in which the department ID is common. So you can see over here, this is the common row and in which department 10 and 20 is common. You can see over here, this is department 10 and 20 is available in both the table. You can see over here. So it gives the uh, common information. Now, and along with that, uh, my right outer joint says that give me all the rows from the uh, my right hand side which is nothing but your department table now you can see over here depart this row was left so it gives over here that row as well however it will fill over here null because department number 40 is not matching over here where you can see department number 40 is not matching since it filled over here null null okay now you can question that what about this 30 so 30 is not matching over here since it is not coming in this output table and my definition only says that give me uh, from the left hand side table those rows only which are available over here okay or which rows which is satisfying this uh, on condition only okay so in short what i can say that my right outer joint will give those rows which will fulfill this condition and all the rows from the my right hand side table which is nothing but your department table so this is nothing but your right outer joint so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the right outer joint now let's go for the assignment or i can say that practice question And guys, if this video helps you, then please don't forget to share this video. Thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye-bye. Take care.